What I'm going to do, just very briefly, is give you some information about the photovoltaic specialisation which um, takes place at Northumbria University. So let's start by actually locating where we are, in case you don't know where Northumbria is, where you don't know where Newcastle upon Tyne is. Um, it's up in the northeast of England. Northumbria University is the largest university in the northeast of England. It's actually um, one of the, um, in the top 12 in terms of size um, in the whole of the UK. Um, it's located right in the city centre of Newcastle upon Tyne, which, as you can see, is just up on the uh, northeast coast. I don't, oh no, I haven't got a pointer. Um, it's about 350 miles north of London. Um, it's, however, it's very easy to get to. Uh, we have an international airport. Um, with a link into the city which takes about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, you can fly direct from a number of locations. Unfortunately, it's not Brussels anymore, but um, Amsterdam, London, Paris, and a few other um, locations. Dubai, if you happen to be starting there. Um, and we have good, really good rail links um, to the rest of the UK, especially to London. Um, I did the Newcastle to London run this morning in just under um, two hours, 40 minutes. So, Although I would say, just to note that the cost of the ticket depends on which train you catch, okay? So just be aware that it's, depending on what time of day you're traveling, uh, it's going to cost more or less. Um, um, Newcastle has two major universities, um, ourselves, Northumbria, and also Newcastle University. It is a student city, which means it has lots of facilities for students, libraries, museums, all sorts of educational things, bars, nightclubs, restaurants, <laughs> football grounds, you name it, we've got it. All in a, quite a, a small um, location. Oh, I don't think so. Okay, so um, the photovoltaic specialisation is um, located in the Faculty of Engineering and Environment, um, which um, is a number of different engineering disciplines um, and also physics, um, and then also built environment. Um, planning, civil engineering and geography and disaster relief. So you'll be mixing with students who do a lot of different uh, topics but all around the environmental uh, aspects. <coughs> One thing I do need to say, uh, because, and I, we find that it is a concern for the PV specialisation students, is that um, if you are not from within Europe, if you're non-EU students, you will require a different visa to come to the UK. Don't blame me, blame the UK border agency, okay? Um, we're not in the Schengen area. Um, what the, the way in which we've, um, we work this is that um, what you'll need is a letter of support from us, and then you will apply for a student visit visa, not for a full, not for a full student visa, which is for somebody who's studying a full course, um, but for a student visit visa, which allows you to come for um, around about four to six months. So it, it covers the um, period of specialisation. What it won't cover is doing a project within the UK, but we've never had a real problem with that. We can we find projects elsewhere in Europe or perhaps even back in your home countries. Um, what we will do for all the students we have signed up for the PV specialisation who are non-EU, we will be contacting you very soon in relation to the information we need um, to allow us to write you the letter of support and then you can apply through, your, uh, through the um, British Embassy in where, uh, the country where you're actually studying at the moment. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll get that sorted so that you can be applying um, fairly soon for, for your visa and we shouldn't have any problems. All our PV specialisation students are registered on one of our MSc programmes, um, which even though we're not actually giving you the, the Europe degree, and what that does is gives you full access to all the university facilities, um, including the library, the sports centre, um, and there aren't any additional campus fees. Um, you might need to actually obviously pay extra if you want to join one of the clubs or um, use specialist sports facilities, but in general, um, everything is available to you. And because we're in a um, 
a, a city where there's the two universities, we also have some reciprocal arrangements with Newcastle University and using their facilities as well. It varies, but um, the other thing we find is that there's a lot of um, uh, talks, um, professional body talks, which are arranged either at Northumbria or at Newcastle University, which will be open to um, all the students. Um, it is a, um, a city which has lots of student accommodation because it has lots of students, but of course you would be arriving in the middle of the um, academic year so we recommend looking for accommodation as early as you can. Um, we have an accommodation office, there's a website which tells you, um, gives you advice on, on the, the possibilities. Um, so if you just access the Northumbria website and uh, go through the, the accommodation part um, you'll find what you need. Okay let's talk a little bit more about the course. Um, photovoltaics is quite wide-ranging it goes all the way from the individual photovoltaic device, so the semiconductor physics behind it, through to the implementation of PV systems and the connection to the grid. And what we don't know when we get the students in is what their ambitions are in terms of where in that whole portfolio of subject area they're going to want to fit. And actually what we find is that um, employers like people who know something about the whole value chain right from the devices through to the systems. So the course um, aims to produce graduates who can contribute to all those um, parts of the PV supply chain, understand the links between them and therefore the um, arrangement of the course uh, addresses that. You would study four modules um, and they are photovoltaic cell technology which covers um, how the cells are designed, how they're made um, and the, limi the um, limitations and potential um, of the different cell types building on what you will already have learnt in the core. Advanced cell design, which goes into the new devices, the very, very high efficiency or very low cost devices, which are now being produced, um, and gives you a grounding for if you want to go on into um, research or else will give you some idea of what's coming through in the pipeline um, for future um, systems. PV system technology, which again builds on the core material in terms of how we use the system, how we design them, um, and issues relating to performance and reliability. And then a module which looks at economics and policy and environmental issues. We're actually in a very interesting period for photovoltaics because we're starting to move in, in Europe and in ver uh, other parts of the world into a transition between the subsidy-led programs and the point where, we can, where photovoltaics can compete economically without the subsidies. We're, we're already at grid parity in certain areas in Europe and we're approaching it in other places. So um, from a, a policy and economics point of view, it's really quite a, an interesting time and we believe our engineers um, should know a bit about how those policies work in, in order to really contribute to the sector. You'll find details, I didn't put up the details, but you can find them on the, on the master website. It's a combination of lectures, seminars and laboratories. Um, some of the lectures um, will be uh, taken alongside master students in electrical power engineering, so you also get to link with some of the other master students at, at Northumbria. Um, and um, I didn't put down, we, 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 are, we have um, a growing industry in the UK in relation to photovoltaics um, and we um, try and arrange visits as and when we can to local industry um, and local installations. Although we also have, which I'll show you in a later slide, um, our own PV installation at the university. Okay, so most of our students who, who come on the course will carry out a project in the PV area. In, um, but it ranges all the way from the, the pure sort of research in a research institution um, 
uh, into the cell material end all the way through to evaluation of installed systems and everything in between. So what we try and do is match you with, an, with whatever your interest is in the, um, across the sector. Uh, we've had students working with all the big research institutes um, and major companies across Europe and in some cases in other countries. Um, so um, in Austria at the Joint Research Centre in Italy um, and here um, a number of, of companies, IMEC is, in, is here in Belgium. Um, I could have gone on and on, I could give you a much longer list but it would be boring so I'm not going to. The PV market is actually also in an interesting phase. You may have read some, uh, some um, articles about it in the press in terms of where we are in the marketplace. Despite the shake-up in the industry over the last couple of years um, and um, the economic crisis across Europe, which has traditionally been the place where most of the installations are, we're expecting to have a, li a little bit bigger market this year than we had last year. So a bit over 30 gigawatts um, installed world worldwide. Last year, the total worldwide capacity um, exceeded 100 gigawatts for the first time and in fact photovoltaics in Europe photovoltaics was second only to wind generation in terms of renewables uh, installations so it's a it's becoming a major player um, there has been some rearrangement of the industry if you like um, because of uh, probably um, actually needed because of uh, changes in, in, in cost structures um, but we, we were expecting that to settle down now and just to say that at least half the jobs maybe oh, I think now over half the jobs in the PV sector are actually down the line in the in design and installation of the systems um, so uh, lots of opportunities um, wherever you come from and wherever you want to take up your job. Oh, go. That's what I was saying. Um, actually, what we find is that many of the project students actually stay with their um, project provider in the first instance for a while um, before potentially moving on to other companies in the sector. Um, I can't actually offer you free entry to a conference as George has done. Um, <laughs> Because the photovoltaics conference takes place two weeks ago, um, so our photovoltaics conference has gone. Um, but just to say that um, I regularly meet up with XPV masters students. I think I, I think I'm counting four or five this year. I met at the conference, um, and they're people who've gone through this course and are still working in the photovoltaics area. Um, so. Um, Okay, let's put this in context alongside the teaching activities. Uh, we've got a, an active research group which has been operating at the Northumbria University since the 1980s and your professors will be um, may, in the main members of staff who are active in research in various areas of photovoltaics. We work on thin film materials and um, cells based on the chalcopyrites, copper indium, gallium diselenide, copper zinc tin sulfide and all sorts of other combinations. We work on design and performance of um, PV systems, on environmental impact assessment for PV and for other um, technologies um, and various technical and socio-economic studies, um, all um, based around externally funded research. So you'll have the opportunity to interact with those researchers to get an insight into the latest developments. Uh, this is our 40 kilowatt facade. We also have some other photovoltaic and indeed wind facilities which um, feed down into the uh, teaching labs. Um, and at the bottom here we've put some of the, re the cell research um, uh, things. This is actually um, a um, thin film deposition kit um, depositing um, solar cells. Um. Okay, so I'm going to finish here with um, my contact details and some pictures of the area around Northumbria, just to, just to, um, in the middle here, uh, the new castle, after which Newcastle was named, built in 1080. Um, and that's the keep, which is the bit, there's a keep and the black gate is left. However, if you're interested in castles, um, this, this area has more castles per 
unit area than anywhere else in, in the United Kingdom, um, partly because we kept getting invaded by people, so people were building castles constantly. Um, this is another one um, set in, uh, above here. this one and the one at the top, um, uh, you're very close to n very nice beaches. Cold, but nice. <laughs> Hadrian's Wall, up the top. Um, the Angel of the North. And um, at the bottom here, the, the Millennium Bridge on the Quayside. The Quayside is where loads and loads of bars and restaurants are. Um, and theatres and other things to distract you from your studies. We look forward to seeing you in Newcastle. <laughs>